Hey there friends, here is Aisha at Young's Paper Creations. Before I get started, let me take the time to thank all of my subscribers, whether you've been with me from the very onset or you're now coming on board. Thank you from the very bottom of my heart. I'm seeing my way to 1,000 subscribers. You've been fantastic, all of you. And listen, this junk journaling scrapbooking paper crafting community is one of the best and i am so 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 wanting others to find out what we have found out that this is the best community ever hands down therapeutic leisure all wrapped into one so i just want to thank you so very much now keep in mind i've got a uh a set of uh, dies and stamps and such for a de stash going on. There are two lots of these stashes. Take a look at the videos there. And uh, other than that, I've also got a giveaway going on with Nelda from Nelda's Crafts. Check that out, please. It's so amazing uh, that, you know, like I said, we've got amazing people in this community and Nelda is one of those people. We had a swap. And those two journals that are there, they're from her gifts uh, to me. 90% of those items came from her. And I'm so overjoyed to do this swap. Thank you so much, Nelda. And again, subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's keep up the good work. Uh, you know, whenever you can, spread my, uh, my uh, share my channel and, you know, and I will share yours and, We'll just support each other. That's what we're all about. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now, I am working on another journal. I got uh, a set of uh, folders from the Dollar Tree. And so I've decided to make a few journals with this cover because I'll be able to share it with more than one individual who happens to like this cover, which I love this cover. I love the black and the the pink together and I found uh, this uh, lip uh, this l lovely pair of lips and uh, I thought it went perfect with this I couldn't think of anything else and so mwah, there you go now to go inside of this journal I decided to use these little uh, pockets or pots I don't know what you want to call it little tucks but it's great to add uh, f what you call it like little flowers or anything like that that you want to put inside of it now this is not uh, my creation I found this can't quite remember the lady's name but it is not my creation and I believe there are more than one ways of doing it actually I choose for me I choose to I'll show you so let me do it because I have I wanted to show you this tutorial when you learn something good, you share it. So whatever you do, let your piece of paper be a square. So this is a three by three. This is a three and a half. And so I will go with the three and a half. And so you want to connect the two points like so. And you could use uh, a gauge your paper weight the thinner the paper the more um foldable it is and less bulky it is so maybe a regular printer uh copy paper or a uh, book page will be good for it as well so you basically fold it in half like so the point have to reach with each other now what you want to do is take one of these points and fold it over fold it down and now I'm gonna varnish that okay this is what you have now once I I've done that I now choose to put this on the inside but you don't have to so let's do it on the outside just so that you can see what that's like now I'll take this end and line it up with this edge this edge right here so I want to take this point and add it straight at the top here. So I will go in and do that and then come back out and show you 
Now, sometimes when you do it, when you cut your paper, it is not even. And I think I can see, yep, you see, look, I've got this overhanging bit here. So what I'm going to do is go back in with my scissors and cut that out. Because if I don't, my pot will not be looking its best. Okay, so you want to make sure as much as possible that your sides are even. You've got an even uh, square, but it can obviously be fixed. So you saw me fix that. It's fixable. So you take one end, and I'm using cardstock, which is what I was trying to tell you. The softer the paper, the better. I'm using a harder paper. So I, I took one end and I fold it in all the way to the top. This edge got folded in all the way to the top. I'm now going to take the other edge and fold that right on over to the other side. Okay, so I did the same to this side. This is how it looks with the little lip at the bottom. Now I can also go and put that over like so. And this is good because then it covers the flaws and the open area like so. All right, now another alternative that you can do is take this lip and put it all the way in and then bring this back like so. It depends on what you what you're looking for so for this tutorial I'm gonna put it over like so all right now I'm gonna go in with my glue gun but you can use a, a, a fiber tack it dries nice and fast and it does the job but for this quickie I will use my glue gun to get the job done to show you what I have. Okay, so here we are with our pocket tuck. It's finished. And here you are. Now I want to make it nice and clean. Let's clean it up. So I'm going to shape my top. And this is what we have. This is the one that I did earlier. Let me put it on something so you can see it well. Here they are. You see that? And I'm going to take one of them and place it in this lovely journal. Now this journal is available for sale. So contact me if you like it I will do a flip through I'm looking to find a page that can handle this pot I always like my journals to be well decorated not too much but yet you know enough that your writing ability you can have lots of areas to write on I think I'm gonna add it right here or nope I just found it it's gonna go right there I'm gonna go in with my glue gun and Woo! sorry for the shake oh Sorry for the shake, my friends. Okay, so here it is. Now, what do I like about this pocket? Well, I can take some die cuts and place it in there like a pot. And should you wish, you can also then take, if you choose not to, and you put something else in there, you can tuck a little something at the back of it as well. And again, this idea is not mine. Isn't this lovely? I just love it. And again, I can go in and add this 
you know, on many more pages. It's easy to make and it is so beautiful. All right. So that's what I wanted to show you this lovely tutorial of this little pot that is so handy that you can tuck a bunch of stuff in there. Keep in mind, uh, all you need is to make it a square. Any square will get you this little pocket. All right, I'll make one more quickly so that you, if you're still needing to see, so when I fold it like so, I'm going to go right on in and make sure I look first and assess any inaccuracies in my square because I don't want to deal with it when I start. Now, this is a perfect example of what I've been uh, saying regarding the wallpaper sample. This here is a wallpaper sample sheet. They're good for so many things. And right now, I do have a sale going on for wallpaper, so um, please check out my video, contact me at any time. So again, I folded this first slip down. Now I'm going to take the two sides and line it up with the edge right here. So I'm going to take it and put it straight across. And then I'm going to take the other and make sure I go right on up. And so here we are. Now you, do you see the little lip right here? This little lip right here. Now I'm going to go take these two open just to pull it over and my if you notice here's another example of what's not the paper was not the best folded on the inside. Now again what did I say? This is fixable. So I'm going to fold this on the inside and then go back and bring my little basket together. So here's the other option of the style. So, you know, I love that little quote where it says that when it comes to paper crafters, we don't lie, we embellish. And every mistake is a new something. And so you can always tweak. And so this pocket carries three variations that I'm aware of. And so even though I did not get my uh, paper cut just just right, I still was able to accomplish getting it perfectly done. And I can go back in, find a spot, and place it right here, or maybe even right here on the cover. You can place it wherever you want. But basically, this is what you will get. Okay? So thank you so very much. This was my tutorial for my little basket. And as you see, I've already tucked this little floral die cut piece in here. And it is just absolutely perfect, simple, and to the point. Thank you so much, guys. This is Aisha Young's Paper Creations. Thank you so very much for all of your continued support. I am so thankful, grateful. You guys are awesome. Take care. Bye-bye.